and we, we are, are working, working Titan. Oh! This is the fourth episode of Attack on Titan. We just had a very light, mood-setting, happiness character introduction episode. Potato. Potato. Oh, God. <laughs> but before we get into episode four, just wanted to say we also have an Instagram. Working title YT on IG. Check us out. Follow us. Yes, sir. Turn your notifications on. DM us. We just want to thank you for all the love and support you've given. If you enjoy these videos, leave a like. Subscribe if you want to stay tuned for more Attack on Titan. And hit the notification bell so you know when these things drop. If you like Attack on Titans, go check it out on Funimation, Crunchyroll, Netflix, whatever else it's on. <laughs> <laughs> and then come back and watch our reactions, alright? We're gonna get started. Punch it! Yeah! Oh my gosh, two years before he passed. It's a lot of time now, it's just like Vikings. <laughs> あ、そうですね。ちょっと繰り返す。そうね。ちょっとさ。こっちの体格と精神力を合わせる。ああ、いいね。スペックバイス。あ、あとナイススタイルスタイルスタイルスタイルスタイルスタイルスタイルスタイ
Talk your shit, bro. Coward. She she gave Sasha the water and okay. Sasha fell on her lap. Who's okay. nine? So it's the generous. Nine it's is the Sasha. Potato girl. Okay. It's Shane Ted Connie. Connie. Um, then I don't recognize. Is that is that, that Samuel? That's Samuel or it's Marco? Yeah, he looked the the guy who was Samuel looked a lot like the Marco, like the, uh, older guy. So I wasn't sure if Samuel. Oh, Marco just Bertold, the tall guy. Well, there's the two veteran guys, the two veteran guys. Reiner. Yeah, Reiner and Bertold. Ber- Bertold. Bertold's the tall one. Bertold, I, I was, I'm getting Bertold and Samuel mixed, because when Samuel fell, I thought it was Bertold, mm-hmm. so I wasn't sure. And then this guy... Who's G- That's John. Sheen? Sean. 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 Dick. Sean. Dick. His name's Dick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Richard. So then uh, Aaron. Aaron's five. Scary girl. <laughs> yeah, she's dope. I like her so, a lot. Her name is Annie Leonhart. Hey, Annie. Lionheart or Leonhart? Leonhart. L-E-O-N. Leonhart, interesting. 
So is that okay, Marco? That's, that's Berthold. He's Mark the tallest Bertold. of everybody. Okay. Who's Marco? Is Marco a person or am I just making that Mar- up? Marco's the dude. I want to serve the king! Oh, so he oh okay. Was. He's not on there. Okay. And then Reiner and... Mikasa. So she's top of the... Mm-hmm. And did the all one. these ten... All, not all They're of them the top went, ten cadets. But not all of them went to the front. The only one who didn't, as far as we know, is the Gene, Gene right? Gene went somewhere mm-hmm. else. Well, did we everybody see, else come? We didn't see. No, we didn't see Reiner and Bertolt. Or Annie. Annie was. Or Annie. Annie. Oh, okay, then I got Annie, yeah. I thought Ryan Reinhard, whatever his name is, was the guy who was blushing. No, that's was, Wagner because he has longer sideburns. Okay, I got them mixed. I I was like, oh. I was thinking to myself, he did end up coming by Gunsy mm-hmm. No, so why, didn't stay back. Wagner was the one that at that like dinner or whatever they were at where he was like, why would you want to throw away being an MP? Blah, blah, blah. He was the one that Aaron had the speech for. Oh, I thought that was Reinhardt too. No. Mm. Oh, okay. I'm, they just look so similar. I just I feel like they need to do a little bit more differential in their faces. And Amiga so of course, I know That's Mika what so. I was uh, Alrighty, so we were introduced to a new character this episode, Annie Lamhart. Thoughts yeah. on her? Oh, she's scary. I mean, she's she, dope. <laughs> yeah, she's awesome. She like is intellectual and like, like honestly, I'm surprised that she's not too. Yeah. Considering yeah. that she whooped homeboy's butt. Yeah. And she seems smarter than him. Clearly, I'm like, surprised she's not one. <laughs> I feel like yeah. she should be the top one, but they're putting Mikasa. See, here's here's why I already have a discrepancy with Mikasa, and I hope it doesn't become the same thing. Right now, she's my Shoto with my hero. She's the maxed out character. I never like maxed out characters. He literally said she she excels at everything. Yeah, I know. She's a genius. They're saying it because it's the story, but I'm saying I never end up enjoying the the maxed out level one thousand character. Yeah. So I hope they give Mikasa some obstacles because I never in anime so far enjoy the character that's completely perfect. Yeah. I didn't like Shoto until they explicitly said to him in My Hero that his biggest struggle is that he's super overconfident and doesn't work on his technique. And then I was like, okay, good. There's something I can enjoy and see him improve. Yeah. But everything leading up to that, I'm like, he's just, just cheating. So I hope Mikasa, because right now she's like the, seems like the perfect person in the show. Yeah. Other than her little weird shtick she's got going. Her weird tendency she has as a person. Yeah, and then, and that's also on the opposite end. That's why I like Aaron so much, because they already are establishing he's... Just completely average. Yeah, <laughs> he's terrible. He's like subpar ap- academics, and he's just a little better when it comes to fighting. <laughs> but that's like that's why I like Midoriya because Midoriya is not the greatest. But the story is about how they become better. Well, yeah, progress. And that's yeah. what I was saying. Is well, that's one of my favorite things about anime is like the care the main character in most of these like hero shonen type animes where they're like the whole story is about how they progress and get better yeah. and. Um, and a lot of times, I don't know if this is like intentional, but a lot of times it's like their effect on other people. Like Aaron's effect on all, like all these people, in, for the most part, especially the ones who are like, we decided to become a scout too because they their mindset was, we've already lost. This is just trying to like cover my own butt and survive as long as possible and just accept our fate. Whereas Aaron's opinion is like, no, like why just sit there and take it, trying to fight back? Yeah, and also like if one person had, I, actually, it gets me like very, like um like goosebumps thinking about because he's like if I if one person decides to change or to be like the hope, yeah. then the humanity still has hope, and because of his attitude, he gets like five other people yeah. that, inspirational that he inspires to want to fight back, yeah. and like I mean. I don't know how this show goes. I mean, it could go complete shit show and be horrible and end in death and despair. But, I mean, this gives them a good setup to try and actually fight the impending doom of yeah. Titans and Big Daddy Titans. So. Uh, you just brought up a good point. You mentioned Big Daddy Titan. Did you catch names that were dropped? Yeah. Of, yeah. of, of the these Titan. special ones that we've seen? They called... So there's the Armorer. The, the armored, armored titan. Oh, the armored titan. The middle the, linebacker. The runner, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I did not catch the other two. The, colo- the, the colossal, colossal titan. Yeah. Colossal titan. The colossal one, yeah, that's what they call them mm-hmm. specifically, yeah. I like Big Daddy. <laughs> yeah, Big Daddy's a better name, bro. Uh, but the colossal's cool. Yeah, colossal too. ones. Do yeah. they say what the skin ones are called? The gross ones that I l- literally hate? Oh, those are just titans. Oh, just titans? Yeah, okay. I would imagine. Skin, yes. And it's kind of interesting to see, like, the battle between. Gene, Sean, whatever, and Aaron, like, they have different, like, opinions and ideologies, and that's the one funny thing about Aaron is because, like, 
he's a little bit of like a jerk in the sense that he's like, what are you all being cowards? And it's not to be a dick. Like he's not trying to diminish anybody, but he's trying to be like, listen, like I need you all to be on the same level as me because like, I'm not giving up hope. Why the hell are all of you just yeah. giving up hope and running away? I, I, I do enjoy... This is why I'm going to enjoy people like Sean or Gene, whatever his name is, is because I like seeing the difference. I like seeing not just everybody on the same page. Yeah, it's, it's let's nice, do it. It's nice to see that not everything is like that. I like seeing that the older guys want to stay back, too. Yeah. All for the different reasons. One for like personal gain. The other is because they just feel like it's lost. It's nice to have, because it's realistic, and in, like, in real life, the closer you can get to reality, the better I'll enjoy it, because, like, in real life, everybody will take things differently. Yeah. Like, I get Gene Sean, he's being selfish, but, like, most people, see, the thing is, this is, like, it's a show, so it's, this is why I always try to not hate the person right away, is because, like, in that circumstance, I have no idea how I behave. Yeah. The Titans are freaking scary. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're, what, 20 foot at minimum. To creepy like, things to that like we don't know if they're feet. fast, but we know they're agile enough to catch you, and that's literally, and they're literally terrifying. Like, I don't know if I have my f- fight or flight spots, how it would behave. Mm-hmm. I might end up like the older guys who want to stay back, or find another way of contributing to the group instead of putting myself on the front line. And it's like, you don't know where people are coming from. I don't know where Gene or Sean's backgrounds come from. I don't know where the other guys are coming from, but everybody, like, has the, like, coping issue like coping mechanisms with how they go about things so like and there's like there, you can find capacity for other people in other like fields so like you're always gonna need people to like work the farm so it's it's okay if not everybody wants to literally go like Aaron had has great reason to do what he's doing because he has that conviction which is awesome and fiery but not everybody's gonna have that because right. not everybody has the same not everybody home. watched their mom die and get the watch their home get sure. destroyed and even people that did they're gonna re- like some people like, they're just going to turn and curl to a ball and be like, my world is over. Like, I mean, like, I, Armin was like that. And yeah. yeah. His, and he didn't even really his home it, yeah. was destroyed, but he, he found out that his parents were killed in the the attempt to take the city back. Yeah. And it's why I'm curious, like, I'm curious where Mikasa's part of this story is going to be, because right now she's the most uh, mysterious. The outlier, yeah. Like, the, I don't know where she fits or why she's doing what she, like, she doesn't have, I don't feel like she's, like, falls in any category. Yeah. More, more so she's just, like, a part of the plot that hasn't been explained yet. Yeah, she doesn't really have, like, any... I mean, like, of course she said, like, oh, I lost people, too. But she doesn't have, like, an investment in... In anything. In anything. I mean, like... Except she for Aaron. Yeah, except for Aaron. Like, she promised Aaron's mom, I'm gonna make, protect him, he's not gonna die. But, like, there's no... It's like, who are you? <laughs> she, I, I don't even... Really fit in I still don't even know if she's her, his sister or cousin or something. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it's like, yeah. we don't know what she really is into or cares about. Yeah. I want your thoughts on the type of training that they're doing. The stuff with the ODM gear and the hand-to-hand stuff. What is ODM? It, uh, omnidirectional mobility. In so, particular, the hand-to-hand, because I liked how Aaron was like... Aaron basically was like, why the we're not fighting humans. We're trained to fight titans, so why are we even doing this? It's, it's good to be multifaceted. I mean, if you're going to be a protector, it's better to protect about against potentially anything mm-hmm. like i don't know if there's planes in the show but there could be potentially planes at some point that like or like aerial villains that you'll have to figure out how to combat so you don't want to just get good at fight titans well and also like some of the titans are relatively small compared to like the colossal one so like you know of course he's not going to stand like five foot four to five foot four with one but like you got to be able to understand how to fight if you don't know how to fight someone that's your size you're not gonna be able to take on a fucking like giant, like, kaiju beast size. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, you're not going to be able to fight that dude. Yeah. Uh, uh, if you have guns, like, they have cannons, that's the only thing that really, like, to me, I'm like, you. they might want to learn how to use, like, those type of weapons, like, long-range stuff. It actually it was making me, when they were doing the human against human, it made me think of, like, walk, like, if the Titans are like zombies in the apocalypse, and if they end up winning and destroying everything, and it becomes like a human against human oh, society, yeah. then they have to know how to fight against oh, like the yeah, team and the against the, their own selves. Because when yeah. people bra- bracket off, people build their like cults and ideologies against each other. Yeah. So well, it's like you got to know how to that was a good point. fight everything. And, and like, what if, what if, it, like, what if they get to the center, <laughs> the center, the, the inner wall? And yeah. there's a group of humans that's like, F it, we're going to take over and kill everybody so we can survive longer. And it's like, no, 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 we need to all stick together. And, like, you got to be able to be ready for any of those situations. 
Even though we haven't seen the center of this place, ironically, I don't really care. I'm more curious to know what's outside. Mm -hmm. Like, I would never want to be on the group that goes outside, but I'm most invested on that group because I want to know, like, what are they seeing? Yeah. Apparently, they haven't seen anything because they would have said it by now, but Mm -hmm. I'm like, what's beyond this world? Is there other fortifications? What, What world are we on? Like... I don't know if this is even Earth. <laughs> like, this is a different planet entirely. Yeah. Um, in the first episode, Armin had, like, his ancestor's diary with drawings of the ocean, and Mikas was like, you're going to get in trouble for having that. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, because it's probably, like, against the law to, like, even think of the outside world. Oh. I, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Sounds, I don't like, like, uh, that. sounds like government conspiracy going on. I don't like that. Either. Oh, see, now that you said <laughs> that, now I'm going to be, like, thinking, like... So, okay, so now, okay, now I have a theory. And now I'm thinking that the freaking people in charge, like, what if the Titans, like, never get to the center, and this is, like, herd control? Oh, no! <laughs> like, this is worse. Tit- like, this is tight, tit- they use the Titans to kill people. Because they said there's a famine, so there's clearly not enough food. So maybe, like, when there's a famine, they start to kill off people, so then there's the piecing. It's like Thanos, like, I kill everybody, and then everybody who still arrive can eat food. Yeah, so, yeah. Though they did say earlier, one yeah. fifth of the population is gone now. Because so, if they like, don't, if they don't know what lives outside, what if outside of all this, it's people living in like harmony, like people who oh, are yeah. actually like happy yeah. and don't even know about the Titans. Right. And I just don't know how. I I don't know how the horse regime would work though, because what if some of them just start like. Screw this and start riding on their horse as far as the yeah. sunset until they hit a wall. It's all a globe. <laughs> <laughs> in a glass house. Yeah. Um, okay, I have one, or That's my have more questions or no? Fun I wanted your guys' thoughts of, like, instead of the whole kingdom being like, all right, we gotta, we got to protect these refugees, they were just like, nah, just send them out there, try to take the wall back. <clears throat> would, you th- would you say that's, like, the draft that we have in our world? At what, what, what one point? Mm, no. So the- Shiganshino was de- destroyed, and everybody went inside Walmaria. Two hundred thousand yeah. people, uh-huh. Ar- Armin's parents, and all that, and they're like, "All right, you guys have all 200,000 of you, or however many it was. You adults. have to go try to take the wall back." And they were all slaughtered. Not even it was like not even two hundred of them survived. I don't think it's the draft only because in I don't know what other countries' rules on their drafts are, but like. In America, like, there's a bunch of rules that you can get out of the draft. Like, you know, if you if you're a not physically fit enough, or you're like if you're the o- if you're the oldest and only son. You know, we might not be able to because of our dyslexia. You and I, like, really? Yeah, if you're I'm pretty, sure you're not, pretty sure you and I disqualified from being a part of the immediate draft, like a one draft, because of our dyslexia. Yeah. Huh. But like, if you're colorblind and stuff, and, and like I said, if you're the only son in a house, like, <clears throat> you know, you would you wouldn't go get picked like so there's a lot of like rules and stipulations to not get picked for it yeah. but I mean for this it seemed like they were like if you can hold a stick you can go out and fight like more like um, Helm's Deep in the Middle Ages it like if you're like a farmer and you're in like in, we don't we, it's not like they had like a plethora of swords they're like hey grab your your pickaxe or your pitchfork rather mm-hmm. and you take that out and that's your weapon like yeah. you're fighting in my army because you live in my area like so that's what that felt more like to me. Okay, here's my fun question. All right, there's three of us. Where are you guys going to each be? Are you going to be military police? The wall, was it Gar- Garrison Regiment? That's the wall. One defends the walls. Garrison. One, one runs out and goes into Titan territory. Scouts. And, and the military police keep law and order within the walls. Do you want <laughs> my do you want my honest answer or like what I think would be cool? Yeah, no, your honest answer because I, I I keep saying scouts and I think that's just a cool answer because I love, love I, you're the cool. Yeah, the, the Titans honestly are really scary. Yeah, me. they are. I think I'd be a military it's like a Fucking colossal Titan. Not, not that I don't think I'd be able to handle it, but like the, I feel like I'd be good at defensive tactics. I feel like I'd be able to contribute to strategy. So what would you choose? I'd, I'd choose military police and try to like find if I have if I'm in royalty's midst, I would try to find a way to work with them and like tell them what I think we should do strategy do. wise. I feel like I'd be more suitable than just I'm, I'm, I don't think I'd be an Aaron. Yeah. What about you? I think I'd be garrison on top of the wall. Yeah. I, I I would say the same thing. I think I would be garrison on top of the wall just because, like I'll shoot a cannon. <laughs> well, yeah, and that, like I like for me personally, and like I'm not quick and agile like these 
these like the scouts. Like in reality, I'm like I'm more of like a brick wall. So that's where I would fit is defending the brick wall. I feel like I would enjoy the garrison as my cool answer because I feel like I would enjoy being a part of all the chaos and being able to swing around and fight titans. Uh, and I'm yeah, I'm pretty good with a balance I'm a skater. So I feel like I, I would probably shit work balance. Well. I actually I actually wanted to bring that up earlier. The, in the last episode, the whole rigging thing. I, this is why I'd actually be good at it, because when I went to the Dead Sea in Israel, no one was able to uh, full, like stay straight up mm-hmm. like a pin, but I was able to balance my hips yeah. so that I was able to do it. I was yeah. the only one out of every uh, like the 25 people, because it forces you to like kick your legs up and your head just above, and if you flip over, then your face is going to be in the water. But I was able to literally become a pin, so uh, when I was watching episode 3 earlier, I forgot to say, I was like, That'd be me. I'd be freaking, <laughs> freaking Mikasa being able to be the pin, just like, yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> Not really, but... Yeah. Guys, thank you for coming out and watching episode 4 of Attack on Titan. If you like these videos, make sure to drop a like. If you want to see more, subscribe and stay tuned with the notification bell so you know when we drop these. So that's why you gotta get the notifications ready so you know when they drop. Um, and we have The Mandalorian currently happening right now, so try to catch those while you can. It's a really great show, and hey, we'll see you in the next video. Punch it! Bow! Bye!